deal with y'all, man. And I know I gotta stand on my shirt before I say anything. I already know. Can't, can't, can't bother me. No, no, no. Oh, um, anyways, everybody want like a little story time on behind or like why we got pulled over or whatever. Uh, me and my man, uh, Slim. So I'm gonna do that for you. You feel me? I'm gonna give y'all a little story time. I got a Mexican, come on now. Got the Mexican pizza from the Taco Belly. Don't ever. Oh, God. Um, all right, y'all. So I pick up my man's, um, my man's, uh, Slim, right? I hope y'all can hear me. If y'all can't, I ain't redoing the video. I'm not. Not even gonna cap. I don't know, it's nasty. Um, what the fuck? That was nasty. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. So I picked up. I picked up my man's uh, slim. He 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 live. You know, he live in the net. You know what I'm saying? Net as in wood net. You hear me? So I picked him up and uh, we where we go after that? We was meet my man's uh, Pablo. So we was meet him or whatever. I'm like, all right, bet. Like we go. So like everybody like just driving at moderate traffic. And you know how everybody at when the police get around. Everybody want to slow down, on pressure their brakes, do all that. I'm not doing that. I'm not scared of no police. And I'm not doing nothing wrong by going to speed limit. So the speed limit over there like 70. And then that lane, that lane that I was getting in, that was the express lane. If you, you know, everybody, I don't know y'all got HOB lanes, express lane, but in Georgia, we got both. Uh, so in Gwinnett, you got the express lane. So we, I hop in the express lane because I'm like, bro, I don't want to sit in traffic. And you got to pay for the express lane or whatever. I'm like, bro, come on, we're having an express. We about to go meet Pops. So then the cop, like he right there, right? Now, me and my homies, like we all, we all, you know, we all always on at all times. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, it's not even like we trying to be cool. We trying to be hard. It's just like, it's for our protection. You know what I'm saying? So we don't, we don't carry guns just to be like, hey, we got a gun. You know what I'm saying? It's just like for our protection. So, um, Slim, brought two mags out. Everybody always bring two mags. Like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just what we do. Like not, not even trying to flex or like brag about a gun, like none of that. I'm not hood. I'm not a thug. I'm not a gangster. I'm not none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but we just carry it for our protection. So Slim had brought two mags out and a mag, he had the extendo in his gun and Slim got a Glock. So, you know, that's like Slim, he hood. I ain't gonna cap to you. That, that is one hood motherfucker right there. Slim is hood. But so Slim had um had the extendo in it, in his gun or whatever, and I'm behind the police. You're like, bro, I got this extendo on me, blah blah blah. Now let's let me let me tell you something. Slim do not have a good background with Gwinnett police, like at all, because he used to have like this uh like swooped up ass scat. So and he like always get in trouble. This was like when takeovers and all that was like popular and like all that. He used to have a scat. He used to get in trouble all the time. Get arrested, like. I don't know if you want me saying that, but too bad, Slim. I'm saying it. They don't know who you are. Um, he like got arrested and stuff in the past. J just like petty stuff with the car. You know what I'm saying? Just because that is how good that police are. And if you live in Georgia, you know that. Mm. Mm. Taco Bell, I'm glad you brought this one. <laughs> I'm glad you brought this one back. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, so Boom. The cop, like, I'm right behind a cop. Cause this is what happened. We went from a two lane to a three lane. So I'm right behind the cop. So I get over from behind a white car. And when I got over, I was like, oh, that's a cop in front of me. But I'm chilling because I'm like, shit, I ain't, I ain't doing that. I'm just a regular driver, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm straight or whatever. So then he, he like, my tent on my car, I don't know if y'all saw, I entered a picture right right here. Um, as y'all can see, the tent on my car is dark. Like I'm talking, I got 5% all the way around, 35 on the windshield. Yes, I got the car for it too. So if you would've tried that, I just would've been good. You know what I'm saying? I got the medical card for it. GSP already approved it. You know what I'm saying? So that don't matter. Um, so 
he could not see, like, he can see, like, you can see in the windshield a little bit, and he saw, like, oh, like, who in that car? Everybody, like, I posted a video on TikTok, and they, like, and he pulled you over because of your car or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, as y'all, I don't know if y'all saw it in the video, but if y'all look at the video, I, I might insert it, I might not, if I do, you see it, but if on my TikTok, you'll see, like, he get over into that middle lane, and no, you're not allowed to do that. It's a solid line. I don't care if you're the police. You cannot do that. And then I guess because he, he his justification is he probably making a traffic stop. You know what I'm saying? And then before I get to that, he said I was speeding. And y'all look at the video. He's in front of me the whole time. And if you look at the other traffic, other traffic's going past us. They're gone. You know what I'm saying? How am I speeding? Come on now. Be realistic. That means all the other cars are speeding. So he said that. And then... You know, he he like he get over to the uh, to that middle lane. He turn on the lights. Guess what Slim does? Slim takes the extended bag out of his gun, throws it in the back seat, and I, I I like I didn't think nothing of it. Like I literally thought nothing of it because it's like I, like I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But he just don't like that interaction. Period. And like all our firearms are like visible in a car, like. Cause you know they need to be easy to grab if something happens. You know what I'm saying? So they are like all very visible in the car. So you grab it, tuck it or whatever, but throw the extended in the back seat. Now back to what I previously said: the tent on the car is dark, so he cannot see in the car. Like you know what I'm saying? So he walk up and he on the window, and I'm like, damn, this nigga just knocked hard on my window. Like whatever. So I roll the windows down. I'm like, all right, bet. Boom, roll front and back down because you know. They got to be able to see in the car. It's fair. If you roll the windows down, that's what the, the cops not going to care about your tent, especially if you roll the windows down. You know what I'm saying? So I roll the windows down. Hold on. I need to bite this. Mmm. 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 I know some of y'all gonna hate how I eat. Don't care. But anyways, I roll the windows down, not thinking that Slim threw the extended mag in the back seat. Really, completely forgot. Not gonna cap to you. Um, when I rolled the windows down, at first he didn't say nothing. He was looking in the back seat, but I guess his attention was drawn to me because I'm looking back at him like, "What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? Creeping up on me? Man, it's like GI Joe. Relax. You know what I'm saying? He had the glasses and everything." Now, um, so I don't think he saw it at first. Then he said, hey, you almost rear-ended me. I'm like, bro, I got a dash cam. I did not rear, like, come on now, you, you maxing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, this is not something I was doing. Oh, I thought I'm like, bro, I got a dash cam. Look at the dash cam. I didn't almost rear-end you. That's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then he tried to push the issue more and accuse me of doing more stuff. You were speeding. He was in front of me. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Now, I don't really care about that speeding shit because in Georgia, if you're going 14 or under, it don't go in your record. You just pay the fine. Like you just pay the ticket. So he couldn't give me a ticket for 15 or more over. Now, then he saw that extended mag in the back seat. That's when the phone dropped and all that. You know what I'm saying? And like everybody keep asking what I pulled out. I, I have a, a license to carry. Uh, because before Georgia made it uh, like where you can open carry and all that, you had to have a license to carry. And it's just easier to buy guns that way. You ain't got to go through the background check, like none of that. You just got your license right there and you go. Uh, so... I did that, and when I showed him my license, I have my license to carry, I'm like, look, bro, like, it's my license to carry. I like, like, don't worry about what's in my back seat, because I don't have to, in Georgia, you don't have to say what's in your back seat. You don't have to identify, like, if you got weapons or guns, you don't have to say nothing. It's none of their business, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I was like, don't worry about what's in my back seat. I wasn't trying to be rude. I was just like, don't worry about what's in my back seat. That's none of, like, it's none of your concern. Then, um, I was like, all right, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. Because now you're just wasting my time. I don't know if y'all noticed. 
the whole traffic stop. No ID given, no registration, no none of that. Cause he knew he was on like BS. He knew he was. He like, he knew for a fact, unless he ran my plate and got all my information that way and confirmed like the identities, but he didn't. Cause as soon as he really, you know, got out, he, he as soon as he pulled me over here, I got out. But I was like, he knew he didn't have nothing against me. That's why I didn't, never, I never gave no ID. And I told him I'm leaving. Like, me, you, I'm not the team. You ain't asking no ID. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, learning your laws and knowing, like, what you got going on in your state, bro, is very important. Like, you need to know that information. Because you can use it against law enforcement. And law enforcement works for us. And it's crazy, though. It's not even crazy. It's really sad because a lot of people in my comments are like, damn, I thought I thought he was going to kill you because I'm black or whatever. You know, it didn't even cross my mind that cops be killing niggas and shit. Not even killing niggas, killing people, period. That did not even cross my mind because I don't think all cops are bad. Like, that's not, you know what I'm saying? I know they lie and shit, but I don't think all cops are bad. So that, like, didn't cross my mind. Like, it is what it is, but a lot of people's like, I'm surprised. And that's really sad. Like, we should not fear the police, bro. If so, if we're in trouble, we should be able to look at the police and be like, yo, we need help. You know what I'm saying? We should not fear the police, bro. So I need to learn y'all rights, learn how to talk to these police, bro. And don't let them put fear in your heart because they work for us. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're in the right, talk your, talk your knowledge. Don't even talk shit. Talk your knowledge. Everything I knew was off knowledge, off off the strength of that, I had everything right. You know what I'm saying? Look, I was pretty much it. I know um, a lot of y'all keep asking where I got my dad's cam from. <laughs> I, I look, I'm not gatekeeping, right? Them niggas gonna have to pay me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. They gonna have to pay me. It's too many of y'all asking where I got it from. They gonna have to break bread with me. You know what I'm saying? They have to. <laughs> like, that's the only way y'all getting that dash cam. Um, I'm going to send them an email after this video. Talk to them. And that's the only way I'm giving up the name. Otherwise, y'all got to figure it out. I don't need a lot to you. Um, if y'all want to tour the guns, like all the guns I got, let me know. Comment on this video. Let me know you want that tour. I load it all up. Um, I think I can show guns on YouTube. But right here, like what I daily carry, right here, hold on, can I like, no, I don't wanna put this in there, I ain't gonna count. I daily carry um, a cannon though. So there's no safety on there and always one in the head. Yeah, and just like that. Anyway, man, this is getting too long. It's been 13 minutes. Um, I didn't even finish my food, but last bite. Cheers to y'all. Be safe out there, learn some knowledge. Anybody want to get in the truck and anybody want to learn how to get their gun license, anybody want to know um, anything, go ahead, feel free to comment, DM me on Instagram, or to, I really can't answer on TikTok. It's like that video got 5 million views, so it's hard for me to answer on TikTok. Instagram, Snapchat, those would be the two best ways to probably like get in touch with me. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, after y'all figure that out, hit me. Y'all be safe. Peace.